The aura I just turned on is called Spectral Binding. You can take a look here. It is a self buff that gives you some bonuses including damage and health, but it has a modifier that curses nearby enemies when they strike you. I did downscale it from 1920, I'm running it at uh, 780p. The nice thing about the skeleton summon is the more points you put into it, statistically the more powerful the skeletons you summon are. So you can see that I've got two regular ones and an archer this time, and the more points I have in there, the more frequently I will get archers instead of regular ones, and then, then mages, and finally revenants. Uh, I don't think Necro has any more early game skills than other classes. Made sure that was pretty balanced. The late game doesn't need to be balanced, the form keeps reminding me of that. When are we getting a balance update? We are working on another patch. That patch will most likely coincide with um, either the expansion or early access for the expansion, we'll see. But it does include a lot of behind the scenes technical stuff, some updates to the way some skills behave, some early game balancing but it's still a ways away. Mind join the Necro? I sure hope so, I worked on him for a long time. If I didn't enjoy him, I don't know what I was doing for months. Don't worry though, I'll give you guys the Inquisitor another time. Seeing how powerful the spells are, I don't think Ulo necessarily needs any fixing. Uh, there are other ways to drain life as a necromancer. Not just drain essence. <laughs> Can't have everything all up at once. Expansion devotions? Mm, not today. What? 
I, what if I don't want your nephew? That doesn't seem like a good deal for me. More Pierce-oriented 2 and weapons. I believe so. We are not adding bows, I'm afraid. That would be an entirely new animation set. Look at me picking up all those white items. I bet you're all cringing right now. Oh man, look at all this white gear. It's so good, I'm gonna switch all, all of it on. <laughs> In a year? Not even for your starting characters? Alright, see if you can sneak anything new on here. Oh, there's something new. There's the wretch. And there's the toad. What does the toad do? I don't know. I can't carry anymore. Can't carry anymore. I wonder why. <clears throat> What would I be if I wasn't trolling you guys at least five times a day? The Toad is actually the patriarch of the Grim Dawn Gods, it's a fact. <clears throat> how many items will modify a single skill? So, like, how many items support one skill? Uh, it ranges. In some, some skills have one modifier, some skills have up to three. I'd say the average is probably two. Praise Hypnotoad. The Necromancer does not have an auto attack replacer.
We're gonna keep updating vanilla skills until they're all fun to use. That won't require the expansion necessarily. Those effects are still broken. Good! My inventory is full. My inventory is full. Would development time go faster if we only had a static camera position? Um, I mean a little bit, but not all that much. Since the world is already built 3D, we have to pay attention to that sort of stuff anyway. The dead attack a creep. I need some time to play. Welcome to Rift. You don't remember you be looking? Did you bring back the eggs? Ah, I have to say, I... Fine, here you go. Loot filter the set to magic. Over. Search the ruin. Come see what's left of my wares. Yes, filter out all the drops. This is a loot free zone. Oh, I do. Don't need to go up there yet. Yep, I put points in spirit, was I thinking? No, I don't have time for the six hour session of Sedina right now. We're going to do this another time. <clears throat> I 
the stream still lagging? I think it was fine for everybody else. Did you try restarting the stream? The bone wave is not a projectile skill. You cannot shotgun with it, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, that's not a poster. <laughs> At least 200 bucks for a poster like that, I suppose. A team of Zantais. Yeah, that's actually the necromancer that posed for the class art standing behind me. He's just very good at standing still. I don't think there are any controller changes coming anytime soon, but we can probably expect to see some improvements to controllers in the future since we're working on an Xbox port. I should be wearing a mask. What are, you, what are you implying? I've, I've ruined your expectations of me. I was told by my coworkers that I should wear a green shirt and I considered it. I thought about trolling you guys with a Zentai suit, but then I'd actually have to buy one, and I'm not sure I'm willing to go that far with this. Yeah, we're playing the Nevro. My buff is gone, must have run out of mana. Well, I don't know how to fix the stream for you since it seems to be running fine for everybody else, I'm afraid. Yeah, try refreshing the stream.
melee skellies can in fact charge. You could run off to the expansion zones right away once the expansion is out. I believe. Or no, actually. I, no, I can't remember anymore if we end up doing it with dynamite, but even if you do manage to get there, you're going to end up with mobs considerably above the level of the previous area. So you might just end up dying. Act 5 level 1 challenge accepted. You know what? I would like to see that. Can't do that yet. That's right, there's some RNG with the Necromancer Summon. So the higher the rank of the skill you have, the more powerful the skeletons will be on average. Yeah, 26 out of 6 and you summon Musilog, the nemesis. But not really. You will see Revenants much more often than 26 out of 16, though. There are four different skeleton types. There's the standard unarmored skeletons, there's... Archers, there's Wizards, and Revenants. You won't see the, the Mages and Revenants until higher ranks of the skill though. But the higher rank you have, the more likely they will come out. Yes, if you overcap it, the, the chance of summoning stronger skeletons continues to go up. The template that lets you summon randomized pets is not in 1.0.9, but it will be in the next patch, and you will be able to use it in your mods even if you don't have the expansion.
Pants, I don't have those yet. Yeah, I believe they do have the internet in Australia, so that shouldn't stop you. Heard of the hype for the permanent necropet? Hmm, I don't know. Did you earn it? How many of you are even watching right now? I'm not even paying attention. That's it? That's nowhere good enough. If you want the second necromancer pet today, you're gonna have to get all of your friends on this stream. Forgot the shrine. You guys are distracting me with your words. At the least, there has to be more people here than Grava usually gets. I mean, I have to feel superior in some way. Clearing out the well done. There are new components coming in the expansion, yes. Spending my devotion points. Hmm, I guess. But where would I put it without moving the screen? Let's just put it in here for now. Good, you're back. I've heard good things from both cat. One of my you've proved follow the road. Yep, the new level cap is going to be 100. The devotion cap is increasing. No, I'll even tell you right now, the devotion cap is increasing to 55 points. Now you know. It's out there.
Well, I kind of have to be talkative since I'm the one who's on the stream. Normally I just get to type and actually get work done. Now instead, Grava gets to get work done. Or at least he better. Well, if he's taking a nap, it better at least be a productive nap. Like, dream about spreadsheets or scripts or something. Well, we learn something new about Dickie every day, apparently. If we do early access for the expansion, there would not be an NDA. 106 viewers? That's nowhere good enough. At least 150. Help me level faster, and how would you do that? Oh, look, I could take the new pet right now. Hmm. Oh, it's so close. My, my cursor's so close to the pet, but I just can't click it. Yes, we will put this up on YouTube later. Pick Inquisitor's my second mastery. I could do that. But then you'd see how the Inquisitor screen looks, and we have to save that for another time. Oh, so close! So close to that button! That pet! Oh, oh darn. Oh, the UI closed. That's weird. Skill icons have in fact been updated since the last time you saw this. There are not going to be base skill changes to existing masteries. If we're going to update existing masteries, be it updated for the base game. And you love me for it and you know it. Ah yes, the buff modifier. So this is called Spectral Wrath. Every time an enemy strikes you, it has a chance, or 100% chance to activate. And it debuffs the enemy. As you can see, with uh, resist reduction, reduced attack speed, and some damage over time.
SNV is a skeleton and blight beast necromancer. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. It can't mean anything else. Oh, that's true, you don't see my cursor. So you don't even know how badly I was teasing you. How long did it take me? Um, a while. I still occasionally hover over them thinking I have to hit them. Mostly because I don't actually play pet builds very much, only when I need to test something. So that's an extra challenge. That's no ghost. That's my aura. Well, oh, not aura. Self buff. Don't you like having evil spirits helping you out throughout the fight? There are new sites in the expansion. I made sure of that as soon as we decided on Necromancer. Oh, you're talking about the webcam area. I need to get better lighting for the green screen, unfortunately. This is a, the first run with it. What? Ghost where? Twenty twenty, that seems pretty soon. I won't have a chance to die and come back yet. Post haste. Quite. The expansion will be out post haste, and Grim Dawn 2 as well. Oh yeah, the expansion is going to be at least $100 a copy. I mean, nothing else seems fair. I really hope you don't get anybody's dick sick. It's not very nice. Yes, he's got it. We're gonna sell the expansion in, in uh, bundles. The Necromancer bundle, the Inquisitor bundle, the transmog bundle. Altogether you can get them at a discount for just a hundred dollars.
Oh, we got way more salt for the neck reveal. Have you seen Sino's post? I'm bad at pretending to be EA. I'm sorry, is that a bad thing? Jeez, sorry. Happy? I mean, I practically have these maps memorized. What do I need to the map for? I get myself hit by that every fucking time. I should stop watching the chat. Hundred sixteen viewers, almost there. my region up to. That's much better. My skills in summer, like a second mastery, maybe. I guess I could I could go Inquisitor, but wouldn't that just be great? Mm, let's just stick to Necro for now. I don't know, which one do you think is true? I'd say my time spent about 50-50 on both. Yeah, to be fair, no one's actually ever seen me developing a game, so you can only assume that I do only do the other thing.
Hmm, another devotion point. Skills not ready. Hey, this town golem has life in it. I just sucked it out. Thirty views. Hmm, not quite. Not impressed yet. Oh, hello, traveler. Hundred thirty, close enough. What is this physics? Physics rounding. Devotion point. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the wretch, I guess. You can almost see some new stuff on the edge. Almost. What could it be? Uh, let's just let's just put some points in crossroads. That's what everyone needs. More crossroads. Crossroads new meta. Personally, I didn't really find the corpse interaction mechanic that enjoyable in Diablo 2. Every time I got to a boss, it was like punishment. Hmm, probably shouldn't go there. If you kill me, then there won't be any loot in the expansion. Have you really thought this through? If the expansion isn't at least a hundred dollars, you're gonna make a liar out of me.
Move along now, stranger. Not gonna kill you this time, Angrim. A Grimmed on MOBA? That would be something. What? You've never killed Angrim? Yeah, the Zentai edition will cost a hundred bucks. That's what I meant. The Zentai edition just gives you the Gazer Men suit from level 1. That's all it is. Aether, whoa! Hundred forty is nowhere near close enough to fifty. I'll look at that later. Needs more pets, but the necromancer there's all sorts of pets. You're just not letting me show you. It's really on you, not on me, when you think about it.
If I don't show you the pets, Isis wins. Wow, that's harsh. Didn't realize it was all on me. Yes and no. We're working on having rows instead of just one straight line so it doesn't overlap with the health bar. Necromancer, could it be? It is actually the Necromancer, yes. We have not started working yet on the loading screen for the expansion. Well, I'll be. Oh, there was an Olgrim. There, I thought he died. Carva wasn't fired. We just replaced him with a better version of him. Yeah, it's more retro that way. Inventory is full. A necromancer is not a pet, so how could it be permanent or temporary? I can't carry any more. Ah, too much stuff.
What? You guys went down in streamer count? You guys are really letting me down. Right, here we go. So I should probably get back to work. I'm not sure you already earned this, but alright. Here's the Blight Beast. Oh, and he cute. Just huggable. Who's your buddy? Not this guy. Come on, face the audience. Okay, fine, we'll just rotate the camera. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, that's probably enough for today. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you liked your first look at the early Necromancer play. I'll probably stop by another time on the stream in the future and show you the Inquisitor next time. Now, if any of you have any questions, this is your last chance today before I sign off. Does he get increased in size? He does get bigger with rank, yes. Release date sometime this year. Hopefully, right? The only way we would get a teddy bear nemesis is if I convinced one of the artists to give us a teddy bear model. That might be hard. Unfortunately, I do have to leave you because someone has to go and actually finish this expansion. You know, since Grav is probably napping, right? Can we see him attacking stuff? Sure. Come on, buddy. Hit the dummy. His special abilities. Or oh, about weapon special abilities, oh. Oops, I think seems to have disbanded him. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Alright, signing off guys. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.